iOS 17 has been released for a while now and I've been playing around with it and mostly trying out some amazing new camera features. So in this video I'd like to share with you my 10 favorite new iOS 17 camera features you absolutely should know as well. Let's dive into the video. So let's start with number one and that is that when you now scan a QR code you now have the link displayed below. So in the past it was actually in front of the screen so it was actually blocking your view and now you can see it's just here below way more convenient so number two is the fact that your iphone is now able to detect the meaning of specific symbols so for example now you're actually able to recognize symbols from laundry icons let's give that a try so take a photo then click on the eye icon when you're in the photo you'll get this look up notification you press it you can now exactly see what the meaning is of all the different symbols this also works for car symbols number three is that you now have the possibility to lock the white balance on your video if we go to camera in the bottom here we scroll down we go to camera then we go to record video and if you scroll all the way down to the bottom you now have this possibility to lock the white balance this is really amazing Amazing for if for example the setting changes during filming and you just want to keep the same white balance number four is that you now have the possibility to crop your photos in a different way so let's say for example we have this photo and we want to crop it so now you can just simply zoom in you get this crop symbol here in the top and then it automatically crops it for you just the way you zoom and feature number five is basically related to the same cropping tool if you zoom in get this crop icon in the top you can actually long press this and then you get an array of new options to automatically crop in the desired format. Six is about shortcuts. So within the shortcuts app, Apple added a new camera overview, new camera features. So when you add an action and you search for camera, you now get this full overview of all the different camera modes that you can initiate. In the past, this was only limited to take a simple photo or video, but now as you can see, it has been expanded with an array of new videos video and photo features that you can immediately access within the shortcuts app now. So number seven is that you can now shoot portrait photos just in the normal photo mode. You have to enable this by going to settings then scroll down to camera and in camera we scroll down as well and then we go to portraits in photo mode. So yeah make sure to toggle this on and now you're able to shoot a portrait photo in just normal photo mode. What's important is that when you try to take it and you focus that you have this focus option here in the bottom and then just tap on and then when you just take the photo make sure it's enabled and as you can see we have a portrait photo just in a normal photo mode now number eight is actually related to portrait mode and that is that you can now change the focus of the main subject in a portrait photo so what you have to do is when you took a portrait photo you go to edit and you actually just press on the area that you want to focus on so right now it's focusing on on this iPhone 15 Pro box you can actually change this by focusing on what's in the back here just like that and now you see the difference it makes in the back it becomes blurry and when I tap here it becomes less blurry it's a really cool feature for if you want to edit portraits afterwards for number nine we go to settings we scroll down again to camera obviously in this video it's all about the camera and photos and now you scroll down and you have this new level option and if you toggle this on when you're filming or taking a photo you now have this white line in the middle that shows the level of your iPhone so it's getting yellow you get a little haptic feedback when it's straight so when the level is perfect and it's wide and just you need to change the angle of your iPhone to get it perfectly balanced for number 10 you now can press on the one X in your photo settings and then it will actually change to the different focal lengths 28 35 and 24 millimeter if you you enjoy my content of course make sure to hit the like button subscribe for more and also hit the bell icon it would really mean a lot to me